Okay, I must admit, never in a million years did I think Microsoft would give us the ability to bulk produce PDFs and send emails directly from Excel. This isn't VBA, it's not Power Automate, and it's not a third party add in. This is Excel using Office scripts. So let me go and show you how this works. Here in Excel, I have a report with a drop down list. And when I select different items within this drop down list, everything updates. In this workbook, we have some other worksheets. We have the control worksheet. This lists who we want to send each of the reports to. And in this example, I've set the four email addresses to all be the same address. In the real world, we would have four separate email addresses. We also have the data sheet. This is all the data that forms our report. And finally, we have our calculation sheet. These are the numbers which actually appear in the charts. But let's suggest that we want to loop through and save a PDF file for each region and also send an email with that PDF attachment and a picture of the sales by product to the relevant person. Now I've already created my office script. So now all I need to do is to click the run button for this script. I'm not going to do any trickery in terms of editing. What you see here will be the speed that this code runs. I will click. As you can see, our script has started running. It's looping through each of those regions and our emails have now arrived. So let's take a look at the South region report. We can see this contains a PDF and that PDF contains the information for the South region. Not only that, but the email also has a picture of the first chart and the email has been personalized to Sally. That's how, just using Excel, we can now bulk produce PDFs and send emails. If you're as excited about this feature as I am, then I'm sure you want to get your hands on it straight away. However, I should note that it's currently only available for those on the Insiders channel, which means there's a good chance you won't have it yet, but it's coming. And if you're watching this video in a few months time, you never know, you might have it. So let's go and see how it works, but just be prepared that you might have to wait for your version of Excel to get it. For the rest of this video, we're going to look at how this works so you can build up similar solutions yourself. So if you're ready, let's get started. Let's look at the basic Office Scripts code that you need to create PDFs and send emails. If you've not used Office Scripts before, it's contained in the Automate tab. Now you will need a compatible license and I'll put a link in the descriptions box below so you can see which licenses are compatible with the Automate tab. Now once you're in that tab, you can click New Script and it will create this window on the right hand side and it will also have this draft text in the window. Now we don't need this code, so I'll select that and press Delete. Let's start by creating our PDFs create PDF. Now we are going to be calling this PDF multiple times. Therefore, we're going to create a variable to hold the PDF. I'm going to call that variable PDF. So let PDF, and that is going to be equal to the office script dot convert to PDF. When I open the bracket on that, you can see that this returns the text encoding of the document as a PDF. So this means that this will create the PDF file in memory. It won't actually create a file that is saved anywhere. Now let's suggest that we wanted to create a second PDF. We would follow similar principles. So let PDF2, and that would be equal to office script dot convert to PDF, open bracket, closing bracket. Now in this scenario, both of those PDFs will be identical, but I just wanted to show you how you could create multiple PDFs at the same time. When we look at this convert to PDF feature, it looks at the print ranges of the entire workbook. So here in our workbook, we have four tabs, but we only want the PDF from one of those tabs. So we need to hide the worksheets that we don't want to be included in that PDF. I'll write a comment, hide sheets to exclude from PDF. Now to hide a worksheet, we can refer to the workbook dot get worksheet. We then need to name that worksheet and we want to hide the control worksheet. We're going to use dot set visibility 
And then it tells us that we need to use Excel script dot sheet visibility. So we'll start typing that Excel script dot sheet visibility. And there we have hidden, very hidden or visible. Let's use hidden in this scenario. So that will hide our control sheet, but we've also got other worksheets. Let's add those into our code. And then rather than control, we want to refer to data. And then the final worksheet was calculations. So that means that when we create our PDF, it will only be for our report worksheet. Let's now download this report. So download file. And to download the file, we use Office Script once again. And this time we use the download file method. We can see what this method does, but also how we need to structure our content. It has opening curly brackets, and then it has the value of name. And after that, we provide a string of the name that we want to use. And then we have content, and we then provide a string of the content that we want to use. Let's add our curly bracket. We'll enter name, and the name of our PDF is going to be report.pdf. Enter a comma, and then we come to the content. Now for the content, this is where we can refer to our PDF variable name. Now, as I said, if we had multiple files, we could therefore download both of those files. The second file will be called report2, and it will be PDF2. I'll now click Save to save our script, and I'll then click Run. That now creates and downloads both of those reports. Let me open one of those files, and there you can see we have our North report as a PDF. Okay, I can now close that. Next, let's look at how we can send emails. So send email. For this, we use Office Script again, and this time we use the send mail method. Now the documentation here doesn't tell us everything we need to know. It tells us that we need to use Office Script and mail properties. Well, what are the mail properties? Let's take a look. The first item might be who we send the email to. We can see in the IntelliSense this pops up, which means it is a valid option. In here, I'm going to enter the email address that we want to use. We then enter a comma, and then we can create a new line. Now, along with sending emails to, we can also CC and BCC. So let me add those two properties as well. So CC and also BCC. The next property we might use for an email is the subject. So subject, and again, this is text. So we might call this region report. Then as another property, we might want to send emails as different types. So there is the content type. Now the content type has to use office script dot, and there you can see email content type. Press tab to accept that. And when we press dot again, it's either HTML or text. They are the two email formats that we can send. I'll select HTML. Next, how about we have the importance? So the importance of the email. And for that, we need to use the office script dot email importance. When we press dot, we can have high, low, or normal. For this scenario, let's use high. We then have the content of the email itself. So I'll call this, this is the email body. Now the final option we have is attachments. Attachments are a little trickier because we can send multiple attachments. Therefore, we need to put these attachments inside an array. For an array, we use an opening square bracket. And then to include an attachment, we have a curly bracket. And the first item we need is the name of the attachment. And let's call this report.pdf. And then we also want the content of the attachment. For this, we're going to use the name that we created earlier of PDF. But if we want to send multiple PDFs, we can then include more items. So name and then report to.pdf. And then the content for that can again be PDF2. Now, before we send our email, at the start of the process, we hid the worksheets that we didn't want to see. Now, at the end of the process, let's make those sheets visible. So unhide the sheets to exclude from the PDF. Now, rather than dot hidden, we're going to use the property of dot visible. We can apply that to the first worksheet. 
And let's just apply this to the other worksheets as well. I'll now click save. So let's see if our script runs and I'll click run. Report one and report two have downloaded. We also hear the ping that this indicates that this has been received as an email. And we can now see our email there. It's sent with high importance as this is the email body. It also includes our two attachments. So that's the basic code of how we create the PDF and send the email. Now let's go and take a look at the example we saw at the beginning of the video to see how we can loop through a range and send the emails and PDFs in bulk. If you want to know more about Office Scripts and how you can use them to automate Excel, then you should check out our Office Scripts Automate Excel Everywhere course. It contains everything you need to master Office Scripts and automate Excel in new ways. Just head over to excelofthegrid.com and check out our Excel Academy, and that's where you'll find our Office Scripts course. In this section, we're not going to write the code. Instead, we're going to look through the code that we used for our example at the start of this video. We begin by creating variables. First of all, we create a variable called table values. This picks up all of the values from our control table. Now, when it does this, it will create an array and arrays in Office Scripts start counting at zero. Therefore, the first column is column zero. The second column is column one and the third column is column two. The next variable we create is region cell. This is a reference to cell C5 on our report worksheet. We create a variable to hold our PDF and also an image that we will create in a few moments time. After that, we have the code that hides the worksheets that we don't want to include in our PDF. And this is identical to our previous example. Next, we create a loop and we loop through each row in our table values. They were the values from our control table. We start by changing the name of the region. We set the region cell to column three of our table. Excel will then automatically recalculate. After that, we can create our PDF using the convert to PDF method. In the next line of code, we use the get image method. This creates an image which is also held in memory. To send the email, we use the office script dot send mail method. And the first parameter we're using is who we want to send the email to. This is picking up the email address from the first column of the table. Then we have the subject. This is picking up the third column from our table and then adding the words region report. Next, we're adding the attachments. We're giving our attachment a name based on the third column. And for the content, we are using our PDF variable name. Now, because we're only sending a single attachment, we don't need to include this in an array. Next, for the content type, we're sending this as an HTML email. Finally, we come to the content, and here we can use HTML to format what we want to see in our email. You can see we've used BR tags to create new lines. You can see we've used the strong tags to create bold text. We've also used the image tag. This allows us to use the image that we created earlier and to insert it into our email. And that is how we have created our content value. We then close the brackets on our send mail. Next, we use the download file method so we can download each of those files as a separate PDF. And then finally, as in our previous example, any sheets we previously hidden, we now make them visible once again. All that's left for us to do is to click run. That's now going to execute our script. It's going to start downloading those PDFs. And also, there we go, that was the ping that told us that those emails had been received. And there you can see we have those four emails. If we click on one of those, we have the PDF attachment and also an image inside the body of the email. And that's it. That's how we can create PDFs and send emails from Excel using Office Scripts. Now, if you like this video, you really should subscribe and get notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. And once you've done that, why not check out this video next? It contains lots more Office script techniques. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.